There was a time years ago when I thought maybe I should step up my game and have some kind of camera operator. But uh, experimenting with the idea, I quickly realized that for the work that I do, a tripod is actually a much better choice. The thing is, if you have somebody operating a camera, first of all, maybe you should pay that person. But uh, even if it's a friend doing you a favor or something like that, there's always this pressure to progress. Somebody's there to film you, so you'd better make it happen. Whereas if you're just on your own with the camera on a tripod, you can take your time because you're not wasting anybody's time, which means you can take the time to think. And taking the time to think is really important for projects that are less deterministic and more experimental. And those are the more interesting projects. For instance, something like this Lego machine catapult. It would have been impossible to do that with somebody waiting to film the next step when I spend an hour trying to figure out how to make the mechanism work. I need to be able to take the time without the pressure. And the next advantage is I can speed up the video much better if it's shot with a tripod because there's no camera movement, there's no camera shake. Of course, you can get some of these expensive gimbals that can really cut down on camera shake, which means you can speed things up much better. But if you're speeding things up 20 times, that camera movement is still going to be very distracting and I speed up a lot of boring bits of a video. So that's the first thing I noticed is uh, when I had some footage shot by somebody else's, as soon as I sped it up, it's like, whoa, that's really shaky. The next advantage is that I can do jump cuts that aren't really obvious that are jump cuts. So a lot of times if I'm placing something down for gluing, I'll like hesitate for maybe five, 10 seconds placing it exactly right, which results in no perceptible movement on the camera. So I can just cut that out and you won't notice. I just place it there and it's like I stuck it in the right place instantly. Other jump cuts that are useful is, for instance, I could just reach out a frame like this and have something in my hand. Now, how is that useful? Well, a lot of times when I'm reaching out a frame to grab something, I don't have it in my hand right away. I'm wrestling with some clamps or whatnot and that doesn't make for interesting video either so to just have it straight uh, up here is awesome too so there's a lot of stuff that i can just cut and other times when i do do a moving camera shot where i'm holding the camera in my left hand like this and i'm showing stuff with my right hand now you'd think a camera operator would be useful for that too because then i could use both hands to show something and it would be and I've done shots like that where my brother was helping me, but uh, it turns out we had to rehearse the shot because he couldn't anticipate where I was going to move next and to have the camera kind of lagging the action was really distracting. Whereas if I'm holding the camera, of course I know what I'm going to do next so the camera just moves naturally with that. Now of course if I want to do something like a shop tour where I want to be in the frame fully myself, then a camera operator is very useful for that sort of thing. But I've done some of these by just uh, moving a tripod here and there, and that's worked out okay too. Uh, one time I was doing a shop tour, my brother was filming it, and uh, I was kind of like, well, I'm not quite happy with that take. And he's like, oh, that's good enough, let's move on. Again, kind of compromising things there because somebody was getting impatient. Now there are, of course, downsides to using a tripod. Uh, one is you have to set up for every shot. Um, which takes up time. A worse problem is um, sometimes I set up the shot and then I have it pointed at the workbench and I'm doing stuff and I don't realize I'm moving out of frame. And uh, some of these shots I can't necessarily retake or some of them I don't necessarily review on the spot. So there will be shots where the action is mostly out of frame and well, that is a little bit unprofessional. Definite downside of using a tripod. And of course, uh, you could argue that it looks more professional to have a camera operator or to have this obvious moving camera because on TV you typically do. And that is true, but is that something I'm aiming for? I kind of figure, well, I'm filming for YouTube and the tripod shot is more of the youtube -y thing. And there's lots of really big YouTubers that just rely on tripod shots, so I think they're okay. I don't think to have the camera visibly moving is necessarily helpful for its own sake. In fact, the way I see it is to have the obviously moving camera for the sake of having the moving camera, it seems actually kind of pretentious to me because it's like, hey, look, I'm so professional. I have a camera operator. 
I'm kind of like, no, I'm just a YouTuber. I'm just filming what I like to do, or at least that's the impression I like to make. So if you think you need a camera operator to make it big, well, just look at the really big YouTubers. A lot of them just either hold the camera themselves or use a tripod. So it's not going to make you big by having a camera operator, that's for sure.